India and China, two ancient civilizations interacting with each other across the Himalayas for several thousand years. This ancient bond is being renewed and revitalized in the 21st century. His Excellency Mr. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India and His Excellency Mr. Xi Jinping, President of China, have agreed to promote cultural cooperation and people-to-people -people contacts in order to comprehensively strengthen bilateral relationship. Inspired by this agreement, we decided to launch a unique initiative, India-China Holy Water Diplomacy, the Kailash Mansarovar to Sihast Kumbh Nashik, Pavitra Jal Sangam Yatra, Mount Kailash and Lake Mansarovar, two of the holiest places for Hindus and Buddhists in India and around the world. Sihast Kumbh, one of the holiest events and biggest religious congregations in India. We decided to bring the holy water from Kailash Mansarovar and offer it ceremonially to River Godavari in Nashik, where the Sihast Kumbh is currently underway. From 12th to 16th September 2015, a 12-member delegation comprising eminent personalities from Maharashtra went to Lhasa, Mount Kailash and Mansarovar in the Tibet Autonomous Region in the People's Republic of China. The delegation included Sri Ram Shankar Shinde, Minister of State for Home, Government of Maharashtra, Srimati Amruta Devendra Fadnavis, banker and wife of Sri Devendra Fadnavis, Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Sri Sudhindra Kulkarni, Chairman, Observer Research Foundation, Mumbai, and aid to India's former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee in the PMO and a champion of closer ties between India and China. Dr. Vijay Bhatkar, architect of India's first supercomputer Param and chairman of Board of Governors of IIT Delhi. Dr. Anand Bang, public health activist and advisor to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Srimati Anjali Bhagwat, India's representative in the Olympics and winner of several national and international medals in professional shooting. Sri Jagannath Kunte Swami, a spiritual seeker and a writer of a widely read book on Narmada, Parikrama. Sri Popatra Pawar, renowned champion of all-round rural development and leader of a grassroots movement for building ideal villages. Sri Ramesh Haralkar, founder president of the Safai Kamgar Parivartan Sangh, an organization for the welfare of sanitation workers. Mr. Sheng Shi Wan, Consul General of PRC in Mumbai, and his wife, Ms. Li Fang Hui, Cultural Consul, accompanied the delegation on the Yatra. On 25th September 2015, Sri Devendra Fadnavis, Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra, will join the delegation in offering the holy water from Kailash Mansarovar to River Godavari in Nashik. <laughs> शब्दों में बयान नहीं की जा सकती बहुत ही दैवी अनुभूति है ये और इस अनुभूति के अंतर्गत और इस मिशन के अंतर्गत हमें यकीन है कि भारत और चीन के जो रिश्ते हैं वो और दृढ़ होंगे हमारा यहां आना ये त्रिवेणी संगम है एक तो कैलाश मानसरोवर गोदावरी जल संगम पवित्र जल संगम दूसरा हिंदुइज्म और बुद्धिज्म के बीच एक संगम का प्रतीक हम आज देख रहे हैं और तीसरा संगम है भारत और चीन के बीच सांस्कृतिक और आध्यात्मिक संगम हैप्पी टू विटनेस योर सेरेमनी बिसाइड इन मैनसोलिवा रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ अ कंसोल चैनल कंसलेट चैनल ऑफ चाइनी People Republic of China in Mumbai. Congratulations. This confluence of the sacred waters testifies to the close civilizational kinship between India and China. It will surely generate goodwill and better understanding between the peoples of our two ancient civilizations.